guys, welcome to the channel today. We are about ready to head up to Michigan, Martin, Michigan, for Streetcar Takeover Michigan at US 131 Motorsports Park. We're in the ZR1 right now. We're gonna take the ZR1 up to Michigan and see if we can get this car in the eights. I think we can. We went 9-0 here in Kansas City a few weeks ago in the heat during competition. The weather's supposed to be a little cooler up in Michigan, Saturday especially, and Sam always has that track on point with the prep. It should be a very good recipe for maybe some 890s, 880s, possibly even some 870s out of the ZR1. I know it's there, we just gotta do it. But we're gonna head to the shop right now, get this thing loaded in the trailer, and head to Michigan. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. All right, guys, we made it to Streetcar Takeover, Michigan, out here at US 131 Motorsports Park. A little windy out here today, but the weather is great. We're gonna be roll racing the ZR1 this weekend and drag racing, trying to get this thing in the eights tonight. Uh, but right now we are roll racing the first part of the day. See what the ZR1 does, we can go 150 plus that's gonna be a good thing for us uh, I think it'll put us in the right class for the ZR1 uh, but we'll just see how qualifying goes but we're gonna start uh, racing here in just a few minutes best time in the car so far is a 900 at 151 I believe that was in Kansas City a few weeks ago it was a lot warmer and that was during competition so the tracks gonna be better we'll see sorry about the wind guys it is a really gusty one out here today apologize if, on the speaker if it's a little windy but uh we're gonna start racing right now. Let's go on, head up to the lanes. just ran that first qualifying pass and honestly I think that's all we're gonna run typically you can run three qualifying passes in roll racing at streetcar takeover but we went 153 it's honestly the best mile per hour the car's done thus far so we're just gonna hang with that I think it's gonna not make any difference whether we go 154 or 155 even if we went faster we'll still be in the same class so we'll wait for eliminations and see where we end up I bet we're gonna be in the class right below the heads up big class and we'll see see how the Corvette does. But so far, ZR1's running great out here. 153 mile an hour, can't complain. And uh, we did weigh the car right after that pass, 3880 with me in it. So freaking ZR1's heavy. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for our call and we'll go up for round one eliminations, see what happens. All right, so we're up here for eliminations, roll racing. We're in the extreme class. This is a King of Bakery car here. Got a lot of Corvettes, got some Camaros. This is almost, I'm pretty sure it's an all GM class except a couple Mustangs at the, or actually one Mustang and one Mopar. Other than that, it's all GM cars in the class, which is pretty cool. Something you rarely see. And I believe we're gonna be racing this red ZL1 right here. So be a pretty good race. got the first round win it was actually a really close race I mean neck and neck at the finish line she get a little bit of a jump on me at the start but I think it was uh, clean enough got the win anyways but I, I you know I would have been okay no matter the outcome on that one uh, but went 155 uh, so that's our best mile per hour it may be because she left early and I had to leave a little bit early too it could have been a little bit on there why I was a little bit faster that time I don't know I still felt like I left right at the finish or the starting line uh but yeah we're gonna go on the next round we'll cool this thing down real quick and uh head right back to the lanes
Okay, so we just got done running that second round of the roll class, and we just got outgunned there. That's all there is to it. That, that uh, Hellcat was just pulling. I could not. I mean, there's just no way I could have went around him, wasn't pulling. I just let out at the big end because that was that. It went 130 in the eighth. This car's been doing like 124-ish in the eighth mile. Uh, so definitely a lot faster car than, uh, than you know, than, than the ZR1 in the class. So, But that's it. We're going to just get things ready, and we'll uh, see if we can get an eight-second pass in the ZR1 here in, after a while once we start drag racing. Okay, so we're getting ready to start some drag racing now. We're in the lanes. We're in uh, for Street Racer Qualifier number one. We're going to probably run two qualifiers tonight, and then we're going to run two more tomorrow. So we'll have quite a few passes out of the ZR1. We're going to just see if we can just knock this eight out right from the get-go here while the sun's out at 131 Motorsports Park here in Michigan. Weather's still just amazing. I mean, it feels fantastic out here. Wind's still blowing a little bit, but the track looks really good. We're going to run right after small tire class, so we should have a pretty good track, and we're only uh, second pair out in street racers. So we'll have a fantastic track. We'll see if the old 18-inch Mickeys can handle the power if we try to push it. I know a lot of you always ask about the cars running here at street, street Car Takeover. So this is the Street Racer class. This is probably going to be one of the faster cars. That's small tire class. They do not have to be street cars in that class. And then we got a 6-gen ZL1 here. Of course, we got the ZR1, another Mustang, Hellcat. And if you look back here, there's some really cool cars. Good variety here at Michigan. We we'll always see a lot of really well-built domestic cars especially when we come up here to Michigan this Mustang's fast here it's 550 turbo car got a Tesla got an electric car here plaid those things run low nines so this is just qualifying not all here yet but pretty solid class for Friday night first qualifying session here at 6 p.m. So we're pretty excited Okay, we just ran that first pass. It uh, had a little hesitation uh, right when I took off the line. That's why it, it was really slow getting off, but it, otherwise it was a really good pass. If we could have got that 60 foot down to like a one three one two that it has before, that would have been an eight second pass all day long. So I think uh, the car was just a little too cold and I think we just got some heat in it now. We're gonna cool it down, ice it down and then go back up there for qualifying round number two, and I think it'll be good the next round. Uh, but yeah, it's just a weird little hesitation it did. It's never done that before. But like I said, the, the car been set for a few hours. It was back cold again, and we just basically drove it straight to lanes and went and raced it. So um, now it's got some heat in it. We'll go give it another shot, see if we can get this eight. left better uh it went really fast to the eighth mile and then uh, it just didn't want to shift <laughs> so it's never done that before um 
yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if the transmission's finally saying FU, because it is a lot of power on the stock eight speed. Um, and we have raced it, you know, between roll and drag racing and tuning. It's had a lot of uh, a lot of passes on it. So we will uh, evaluate and maybe do another pass here in a few minutes and just make sure the ships are good. But if not, it may be the trans that just took a dump on us, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So there's my slip there. I'm in the left lane. 911 at 153.9. We did a 589 at 122 in the eighth with the 140 60 foot. Obviously, there's still a lot of room left in the 60 for sure. Uh, but it shifted. Um, so what I did on that one was I manually shifted the car down the track that time. I don't know if that one pass, it just shifted too soon and it just couldn't the torque model didn't like it in the tune. I don't know, uh, but worked fine. So we know the transmission's not messed up. So that's really good, uh, but we're gonna cool it down. This was not a run with any ice in the ice tank or nothing. I just wanted to see if it shifted. Plus I was sitting there idling in the lanes for a, a while too. So really happy with that 589 in the eighth miles is very stout. And then uh, the 911 at 153, almost 154. So the mile an hour is uh, better than it was the last time that we had the car out the track. So showing some progress here, guys. All right, guys, we got freaking Cody first yeah. round, yeah. man. Yeah. If I get beat by a Tesla Plaid, I'm just gonna go back to my trailer with my tail tucked. <laughs> with temp tags too. Jeez. I freaking don't wanna race Cody. I don't wanna lose to a damn electric car in my ZR1. But we'll see what happens. It should be a good race. He's went 9-2. I've went 9-2 in qualifying. It's all going to be who cuts the light. So we'll see what happens. first round I thought I had my hands full and I did have my hands full but luckily the C7 made every shift left the line perfect it was actually our best pass of the whole weekend went 907 at 154 really happy with how that pass went uh, it sucks you know when you gotta race your buddy especially when you know your buddy travels you know along with you from all the way from Kansas City so first round he's out but uh you know maybe he can uh jump in another class or something real quick. I don't know, who knows, but we'll uh, see what we got for next round. Okay, we're getting ready to start our second round of racing, and we got Chris, the same guy we had yesterday doing the roll racing in the Purple Hellcat. This time it's from a dig though, so we'll see what happens. He's got a really good car. He was our uh, champion in this class last year, so got some tough competition. I think if we can get by him, I think we might be able to slide past the rest of the cars. Chris's Hellcat, and he runs 
nitrous and boost, but just in this class, he runs mainly just boost only. Need a little bit of nitrous. A little bit of nitrous, but yep. but for heavyweight, it's spraying. Yeah. And did you win heavyweight? Uh, no, I won roll last night extreme. You run wool, but did you win your uh, round of heavyweight? I ran Red lit. Oh, I, man. I've never done that before, and it was a, eight, a 950 card against an 850 card. Oh. Well, I'm human. I'm human. well, we meet again, and we're going to see if uh, – I'm going to see if I can beat you this time, but I don't know. I got my work cut out for me, man. Get it done. All right, good luck. Guys, Chris's car is extremely fast. Um, it's consistent, um, and, and he's a really good racer, so a little nervous on this one. I mean, shoot, we had the Tesla first round, which – it's always hard racing those cars because they're just so on it and then we got this car this round it's just every round's hard these days in the, in the racing that we do it's just there's so many good competitors out here Okay, we got the win on that race. Uh, man, Chris went an 889 on a 90 index, so he just barely broke out. I treat him pretty good, and he had to really catch up to me. And then he went by me at the very end of the track, and then slammed on his brakes. Meanwhile, I'm still just coming in hot, so he probably stayed in it just a little longer than he wanted to. And he was just right there. I mean, if you would have just, I mean, hit the brake just a split second sooner, he would have got that 890. Uh, index time, but a win's a win. We're going on the next round. I believe there's three cars left, so we'll see if we get the bike chip in the finals. Maybe get the easy, smooth sailing pass into the finals. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, Chris was definitely one of the harder competitors in the class, and uh, you know he's out now. So I don't know who else is left, but we're about to find out. We're uh, getting ready to head to the lanes for the semifinals. So between every pass on the ZR1, it's a pretty easy car to race. Basically, I just put a fan right here, kind of aim it towards the blower, kind of cools the bricks down a little bit. Any little bit helps there. Also, we pull the blower lid off the carbon fiber cover that's normally over this. It really helps out with airflow hitting that blower. And then back here, we have a Cordis Performance ice tank, and we uh, drain it a little bit, and then we put a fresh bag of ice in this thing before we head to the lanes every pass. That way, we keep the coolant temps down, keep everything happy and safe. And it keeps it, the car pretty consistent as well without heat soaking a lot. All right, this is gonna be our semi-final round. We got another Hellcat that we're racing. This one's very similar to the last one that we raced. It's pretty fast. It's been, it went 890 last pass. So we gotta be on our game, man. We gotta freaking cut a light, have a really good pass like we did with the Tesla earlier. And I think we might have a chance. We got the win in the semifinals. Uh, spun to it. We got lucky because the other guy spun even harder and just wheel hopped it really bad and let out. Uh, so that's how we won that race. So I let out and uh, yeah, I seen he was way back there. So I went ahead and just let out, coasted that thing through. But now we are in the finals We're racing that old T-body wagon. I don't know where it's at. He had the buy run last time. So he's all nice and cooled down. We had to come right back around, right into the lanes. And we're going to run this final. We got rain coming in. So trying to get this race done before this rain starts. It could start at any minute. So it's going to be close, guys. But hopefully we can do this final and uh, get the win. All right, guys. So we got the wagon for the finals. That thing's pretty badass. Uh, we're getting ready to go up there right now. Basically hot lapping these cars. It, that rain could come any minute right now. As y'all can see, we got rained out. We did not get the final done until the rain hit, so rained out in the finals. But uh, me and the 
guy that we were racing, his wife actually went into labor, went into hospital from the track to have their baby. So congrats to him. We uh, just went ahead and split it. But uh, yeah, ZR1, once again, ran a really good race. Couldn't be happier with it. Just going rounds It's what that ZR1 does. It just finds ways to win. So that'll do it for today's video. We'll see you next time.